Hey, before this video starts, I just wanted to uh, give you a quick message. First of all, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, secondly, in about 30 days time, um, YouTube is going or has decided to um, stop being a partner with me. That's because I have less than a thousand followers and less than a certain amount of uh, view times. So um, if you enjoy this video, I would really love for you to subscribe to this channel and see if we can get there um, before the end of these 30 days. Um, I could go on a whole rant about how wrong this is, but that's an entirely different video. Um, keep watching. I hope you enjoy this video. Hey guys, uh, welcome to this video. I have been waiting so long to film this. Um, so finally, finally, my beautylish box arrived today. Um, in case you don't know, there's already some videos on my channel about this. In fact, I'll leave some links down below about the whole Fukubukuru uh, thing. But basically in Japanese culture on the first of um, the year, the first day of the year, um, shops or stores um, offer special deals and lucky bags to customers. So you pay a certain amount of money and then you are guaranteed, well, you might be lucky and have a bag that has lots and lots of stuff. You might be unlucky and have a bag where they're just trying to get rid of old stock. Like I said, watch the video down below. You'll see um, a um, sort of unboxing Fukubukuru of um, some stuff that I picked up in Japan. Uh, no, I didn't go to Japan, in Hawaii, sorry. Um, so there's some stuff from Kate Spade, some Clinique, and some other general um, cosmetic stuff. This unboxing is of the Beautylish box. Again, down below you'll see my review or my unboxing of last year's box. I do have to admit I wasn't thrilled with last year's box. I did my best to, um, mm, I guess, look, be really positive about it, but I received some, some items that I wasn't so happy about. One item was a limited edition product, which was quite old. Um, so again, they're just getting rid of old, getting rid of old stock. Um, one product was the Jeffree Star palette, which is um, just not something I was interested in, but that's kind of the whole name of the game. This is this year's Lucky, lucky Bag, or it's actually a box. And we have a tag here and it says um, Lucky Bags are a Japanese New Year custom that inspired us to create our own. This year's Lucky Bags are brought to you by the seven lucky gods who travel the world in their magical treasure ship to giant, sorry, to grant good fortune in the coming year. So this is the Lucky Bag 2018 and the paper is really cute. Last year it was really like very, very pretty and this year it's just very, very cute. All right. So. You do not know, well, you probably, if you're watching this video, you probably do know <laughs> how much of a mission it was to not watch other people's videos, to not look at the hashtag on Instagram. Um, I just, I wanted to, I guess I didn't want to have expectations. Friends, they've received their boxes already. Some, it was like mixed reviews. Some were saying they were really, really happy with their box. Some were saying they were really disappointed. Um, some are going to give the box one more chance to see um, whether next year it's um, worth their while. Um, yeah, so that's way too much of a long intro. Let's have a look at my beauty box. I'm kind of nervous. So just like last year, there were two boxes available. Um, although for international people like myself, I'm in Australia, um, there was only one box available, just the regular boxes and also an extra large box. You can, can you tell I'm procrastinating? I did the same thing last year. All right, should I like feel around or should I just have a look? All right, the box is um, quite light, so I'm hoping that it does have some great stuff in it. So there's just one package here, everything's wrapped up in one. And I'm going to be a little bit extra and I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to feel each item. I'm just, I've been waiting for this for so long. I've got all these friends that I'm ready to text straight after this um, because they want to know what I've got in. First item is... Oh, okay. So this is from The Ordinary. I've actually tried this before. I'm um, sorry, Neod, which is part of that whole Ordinary um, brand. So this is a really, really powerful um, cleanser. It's actually so powerful that they say not to use it every day. Mm, I already have this, so I'm not super excited. Second item feels like a brush. Yes. Ooh. All right. Super happy about this. This is the number 14 Wayne Goss brush. It feels so nice. I got a Wayne Goss brush last year. It was a smaller brush and it was really, really nice. But um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. So this is like a highlighting brush, I believe. Oh gosh, you're joking. <laughs> this thing again, everybody got this last year. So I'll be interested to see if everybody got this again this year as well. Um, cool. All right, whatever. I think I ended up using a little bit of it and then ended up, ended up throwing it away. 
um, because I really like the Beauty Blender shampoo, dry shampoo, not dry shampoo, solid shampoo. Let's have a look. This is, wow, I haven't heard of these for a long time. So this is a lip tar from OCC. So this is a liquid lipstick. I'm hoping there's some Charlotte Tilbury, some Natasha Denona. So far, I don't think I'm very lucky. All right, so this is a liquid lipstick in a very bright pink and it's not a bright, I think it's too bright for me. So, so far we've got a cleanser that I already own, the Wayne Goss brush, which I adore, um, the soap, the brush soap, which, mm -hmm. and then a lip product, which I don't think I'll be able to use. Next. Oh, yes. Okay. Ah. Oh. Yay. Okay. This is an item I'm really happy about. This is the Jouer Longwear Lip Topper in the Skinny Dip shade. So I'm really excited about this. That's really pretty. I actually really considered purchasing this for myself. So really happy with that. That's such a beautiful color. And I do believe there are two more products in here in bubble wrap. I'm going to try and open it without looking at it. I love being this extra about stuff. All right. I have the I'm so excited. So this is the Natasha Denona, one of the Natasha Denona holiday palettes. I'm really, really excited about this. So this is in the shade 01 Joya. Is this the one where the um, pans were dropping out? That is beautiful. Very, very happy with that. I actually, for Christmas, I got the Natasha Denona, is it the Sunset Palette? So I got it like Christmas Day. We left to go overseas, Boxing Day, came back and had a whole bunch of crazy stuff happen. So I haven't actually used it yet. So now I also have a, another eyeshadow palette. There's a little dent in one of these shadows. I'm going to assume it's just a manufacturing error and not somebody's finger. Look how beautiful. All right, and one last product which feels large. It's not looking. And you'll get to see it before I do, ready? What is it? Tell me, what is it? <laughs> it's a glow kit that I've already got. Okay, so <laughs> it's the um, original glow kit. So great product, already own it. Do I need two glow kits? Absolutely not. Guess what? This means that one of you are going to get it. <laughs> okay, so I so wanted this to be something really, really good because I was like so excited. It was the large part. So I own that. I own this. I do not care for this. I can't use this. I love this. I love this. And I love this. Okay, so through the magic of YouTube, um, I went and had a look at how much all of those products cost. Um, online now one of the products the OCC lip tar doesn't exist on the Beautylish website so I just had a look at how much it is generally so I'm um, having a look at that um, I paid $90 US including shipping for the box and the entire um, contents of the box ended up being $197 US which is phenomenal so if we're looking at just that alone Definitely got my money's worth. Definitely very happy with the box. Um, if we have a look at the products that I really liked compared to the products that I'm not interested in whatsoever, um, the three products that I did like end up costing um, $97. So um, $97, all those products I really liked, I paid $90. So when you think about it that way, mm, I don't know. What do you think? I think I'm going to go one more year. I think it's going to be third time lucky. I'm quite happy. Like that Natasha Denona palette, I'm so happy about. The brush, I'm so happy about. And the lip topper, I, I'm i not like ecstatic, but I'm quite happy because I did want to purchase it anyway. And I know that Jouer lip products are actually really good. So let's leave it there. Um, I would, I'm actually going to go and edit this video and upload and all that sort of stuff. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to start heading onto YouTube and having a look at what everybody else got. <laughs> And then I'll try very hard not to get jealous over other people's boxes. It's very, very difficult. All right. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I would love for you to subscribe. Um, as you will have seen at the beginning of this video, um, I'm actually, in terms of subscribers, I'm a little way off, but I'm not actually that off in terms of um, watched hours or minutes or whatever for YouTube to keep me on 
as a partner. Um, so I, I have to say, when I saw that email today, I was a little devastated. I think it's a little bit of a slap in the face. But we're not going to dwell on it. Uh, we're going to move forward. And if it does happen, then I'll need to reevaluate whether or not I do keep um, posting videos. And just to be clear, it's not because of the money. I think it's because of the principle. Um, anyway, that's a totally different video. If you want me to make that video, I'm more than happy to do that. But please let me know. Um, other than that, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And thank you so much for joining me in my little corner of the internet. I'll catch you next time. Bye.